Milbank and Centec have worked together to create the SNAP6, the next generation of home energy management system. The system automatically switches energy usage to coordinate consumption, storage and generation to their maximum effect. In one package, the system physically controls and coordinates a householder's microgeneration, emergency backup source, um, for example, a backup generator, um, any large appliances like air conditioning, a water heater, a pool pump, and any battery storage. So we're thinking into the future, an electric vehicle. The user simply sets the goal they would like to achieve on a smartphone user interface or on a web user interface and then the system implements the required behavior behind the scenes using tariff information from a smart meter. Over the next five years, more and more consumers will have smart meters and be buying products like solar panels, wind turbines and electric vehicles and having electrical appliances in their home which respond to tariff information. The question for the consumer is how to control and manage all of these new appliances with little time or effort, while it's still achieving their maximum effect. The SNAP6 provides a solution to this problem. Here's a short demonstration showing how it works in practice using one home and a typical day. So first of all, the homeowner has a Milbank Paragen SNAP6 installed. To it, they have their grid supply, a house load, an emergency standby generator, a solar panel, an electric vehicle, and a wind turbine. So a good mix of generation, loads, and storage. The web UI shows the typical energy profile of each device. The top line in red is of a typical home. You can see at night there is little consumption before a big increase in the morning as people wake up. Towards the middle of the day, consumption is again low when people go to work before later increasing when people get back from work. The second line is of a typical solar plot with the maximum generation being in the middle of the day. The third line in green is a typical time of use tariff structure which simply reflects how loaded the grid is. When demand is high, electricity is expensive and when demand is low, electricity is cheap. The yellow line shows the backup generator profile and you can see it only functions when the grid is down. The bottom line on the graph shows the electric vehicle charging and discharging curves and I'll come on to this more later on. As touched on earlier, our SNAP6 house is on a time of use tariff where the cost of energy reflects the demand on the grid. Overnight, when the electricity grid is relatively underutilized and the house is quiet, the electric vehicle is charged using cheap energy from the grid. But at 6am, that all changes as people all over the country wake up and demand rapidly increases. Instead of using expensive electricity from the grid, the system decides to shave this peak in consumption using energy stored in the car battery. The peak soon passes as most householders leave for work, in our case, in the alternative car. During the afternoon, the sun comes out. At this point, the home is using relatively little energy as the homeowners are at work. The grid is also pretty unloaded and therefore it makes no sense to export the electricity back to the grid. The SNAP6 system therefore decides to keep the energy locally and top up the car batteries which were partially discharged during the peak shaving activity in the morning. With the car's batteries fully charged, it is time to go out for the school run. However, while the car is away, there is a blackout. If the electric car had been here, it would have been possible to use the energy in the car to temporarily power the home. However, in the absence of the car, the system switches to the backup generator, which powers the home during the outage. As we move into the evening, the level of demand increases, and therefore the price of electricity for our SNAP6 house increases. The car has returned from its school run. Instead of using expensive electricity from the grid, the system decides to use cheaper energy stored in the electric car to power the home. The SNAP6 system then waits for the price of energy to reduce before beginning to recharge the car. So you can see that the SNAP6 system made many clever decisions throughout the day to optimize the home's energy usage. 
the homeowner can also tweak the behavior of a system by setting a use case. The use cases can be simply set from the homeowner's mobile phone or from a web user interface. Example use cases include green, where the system tries to use as much renewable generation as it can, maximum profit, where it will try and trade on time of use energy tariffs using battery storage, or maximum readiness, where it will ensure that the battery in the car and other storage is fully charged. The web user interface also allows homeowners to see live and historical energy profiles of each device, allowing them to understand their energy consumption. In short, a SnapSig system provides consumers with a simple and efficient way of managing their energy consumption.